windows and decks are so important to our outdoor living these days because we need to have spaces where we can have children play or we can entertain and we call these in the horticultural world the hardscapes and like I said they are important we are at the garden of Robert and Nancy Stoll Nancy this is absolutely beautiful what you have here is a multitude of terraces of hardscape for entertaining now obviously this isn't original to the home because the home is very old that's correct uh, the wooden deck that was here when we moved in was damaged in a storm and we replaced it with the concrete and brick to mimic the front and side stairs of the house which was the original construction, and then carried through with these other levels with brick and concrete and brick. And obviously you've also pulled in some of the natural basalt. You've yes. created these gorgeous walls. Uh, yes, we needed a barrier so you wouldn't fall off, and the walls are bench height so you can sit when you need extra seating, and the basalt is just part of the natural landscape. And you even incorporated lighting into these. Yes, uh, we thought you needed a little bit of light so you wouldn't be stumbling around in the dark out here at <laughs> night. So, <laughs> Well, it is so beautiful because as we were just saying that you have one area, and the areas are large enough for tables, so yes. they're not just little areas, large enough for tables. So you have one, and then you come down to this particular area. Yes, and... The next area is a little small, but then the lower area, where you can put tables up down there also. So it makes for a beautiful area for being able to entertain or even to have the grandkids come along and play. An alternative to wood, look at what you can do with today's building material. I'm Phyllis Stevens. Thank you, Nancy. Thank, Thank you. you, Robert.